Hi guys, my name is Jake. This is Canadian Cutting Edge, and we talk about knives on this channel predominantly. And when we talk about knives, we talk about maintaining our knives every once in a while. And the main thing that we need to do when we maintain a knife is we need to be able to take it apart, put it back together again, and repeat the cycle. If we can't repeat the cycle, we've done something wrong. So we want our knives to last a long time. So that means being able to clean them and, you know, just do regular maintenance on them. So we need two main things for that. We need a very good set of screwdrivers. And I highly recommend that you get a very good set of screwdrivers so that you don't strip out your screws. But uh, even if you've got a very good screwdriver set, there's a product that can help you not to strip out screws. The second thing that's very common in knife circles, there's even some manufacturers that include it with their knives, is Thread Locker. A most common brand that people know the name of is Loctite. But that's a brand name, that's a Thread Locker. There's Permatex, there's a, that's a Thread Locker. There's another company out there that makes a very good product that I like. It's called Vibratite. They not only make Thread Lockers, they make what they're calling a Thread Mate their VC3 product. I've mentioned it to you before, but I'm not talking about that predominantly today. Today, I'm talking about thread lockers. Which thread locker do you use on your knives? I think whatever thread locker you're using is probably wrong. Let's take a good look at which thread locker is the best thread locker for knives. Stick around. Believe it or not, and a lot of people don't like to believe it, we are a product of whoever gets to us first, in large part. It's not an absolute, but yeah, the first person who tells us something, that's the person we're most likely to believe on that subject. So, we're just young guys. We all of a sudden see a couple knife videos. Those first few knife videos that we watch are going to be the basis on which everything else that we believe about knives is going to be formed. Can we change our minds on what we believe from the start? Sure we can, but it's really hard. So the first thing that you believe about thread lockers is going to be difficult for you to change your mind on. So I can foresee some people in the comments below wanting to debate things, wanting to argue uh, things back and forth. I'm not going to get into that. I think most people are using thread lockers incorrectly. What thread lockers exist? What thread lockers are out there? Well, we know about the red stuff, right? And we know about the blue stuff. So the red stuff is the strong stuff and the blue stuff is the medium stuff. And we've been told, if you're gonna use the red stuff, you better be really careful because that stuff is permanent. That's really gonna lock you down. And if you wanna take it apart again, you know, you're gonna be stuck. So the red stuff is probably not a good idea to use for knives. Let's use the blue stuff. The blue stuff's medium. We're all big, strong guys. We can handle the medium. Medium, who wants to go lower than medium? Nobody. We'll use the medium. We might not even know that there is other thread lockers that are different than that. Here's something else we might not know. The thread locker that we use for our knives is probably designed for something other than our knives. It's designed for things like the automotive industry, you know, aircraft, space technology, all kinds of things are the reasons why thread uh, lockers were invented. Now, what was the red stuff invented to do? Well, it was invented to lock down big bolts. Check this out. This is by uh, ND Industries. Their brand is called Vibratite. They're calling the red stuff 140, but that's not important. Look what it's for. It is for bolts that are greater than or equal to an inch. We're talking about how wide this is. You take a caliper and you measure across like this. That's an inch. So it's for bolts that are an inch or bigger. How big are the bolts on your knife? I don't think they're an inch. So red stuff isn't good for knives. 
Well, the blue stuff's good for knives, right? What's the blue stuff for? That's the blue thread locker. They call it 121 at uh, Vibratite. And this is exactly true of Permatex. It's the same thing is true of uh, Loctite brand. They all say this thing. They are for bolts that are a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch. That's this measurement this way. A quarter of an inch to three quarters of an inch. Those are pretty big screws. Well, what kind of screws do we have on our knives? Well, we got little screws. Well, how big is a quarter of an inch? Well, is this screw a quarter of an inch? Let's compare this to our screws that we have on our knives. See how much bigger that is? Well, this isn't a quarter of an inch. This is much smaller than a quarter of an inch. Is this a quarter of an inch to go with the screws that we use on our knives? Well, even this isn't a quarter of an inch. This is smaller than a quarter of an inch. How about this? This is a quarter of an inch screw. This is the smallest screw or bolt <laughs> that blue Loctite, blue thread locker is designed for. This is the smallest bolt that's supposed to be used with the blue thread locker. Now, that's not just Jake talking. That's the manufacturers talking. And I can show you screenshots from the other manufacturers that say the same thing. So if blue's not the right size, what's a guy to do? Well, there's purple. Now, purple, Vibratite calls it 111. Uh, Loctite calls it 222. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what Permatex calls it, but what size bolt is the purple stuff for? Well, it says right here, it says the purple stuff is for number two up to a quarter of an inch. So this is the largest screw bolt that it's for, but it's for smaller ones as well, all the way down to a number two. Well, how big is a number two screw? Well, a number two screw, let's turn this on, we're on inches, is... Well, that's not exactly right, but check that out. 0 0.08. 0 0.08, that is the smallest screw that this purple stuff is for. And check this out. Here's a screw for one of my knives that I took out. Oh, that's 0 0.11, so that's bigger. Uh, let's check out this one. It's another knife screw. And what's that one? That's 0 0.105. 107. So that's bigger. Uh, here's another knife screw. Let's check this one. Okay, this one's point. Let me see if I can get the light just right. Point one one. So that's pretty good. And I do have a smaller one here. There's a really small one there. This one is point zero eight one five. So very, very tiny little screw. This is the smaller screw that the purple is designed for. So why won't we use the purple stuff? There's only one reason why we don't use the purple stuff. We don't know that it exists because nobody told us. We're a product of whoever got to us first. And whoever got to us first didn't know that the purple existed, so they don't have it, so they don't use it. And so they end up using stuff that is for something much bigger. This is called removable, but still, it's removable if you've got a quarter inch bolt and you've got a socket set where you've got, you know, a great big tool that you put in your hand and a nut driver on here and you reef on it, you know, with a ratchet or a socket set. It's not for something with a screwdriver. It's just not going to work. It's the wrong stuff for the job. So I want to introduce you to purple, low strength. What is it designed for? Well, take a look at this screenshot. It's designed for screws that are supposed to be used with hand tools and are removable. Ta-da! Screws that are to use with hand tools and it's removable. Well, where do we find screws like that? We find them on our knives. That's what the purple is designed for. So I want to encourage you to start using 
the purple thread locker because you're going to get so frustrated if you're not using it. You're using the blue stuff, you're going to have more stripped screws than you want to have. But what if you have a screw that you want to adjust a fair bit? Then there's this product, and there's a fair bit of this. This is also by Vibratite. This is a thread locker. It says right there, thread locker. But this is designed to be adjustable. It's a removable one. And on here, it even says, uh, adjust, remove, and reuse up to five times. I've seen it work well for, you know, six, seven times as well, just fine. Uh, you can go to vc-3.com to check it out. I've got a video on this too. This is mostly what I use. I use the purple on screws that I'm not going to be taking apart. And I use this VC3 on uh, screws that I will be taking apart in the future. Stuff that I've got maintenance to do. So this is very much like this, except for it's designed to be reusable. The purple stuff, if you use it and you put it on your knife, you put it on your, uh, uh, your, your, well, that's what's too big right there. Here you go. See, let's say you take the purple thread locker and you use it on here. This one is nice and clean, but you use it on here. Then you're going to have to clean this out. You're going to have to clean that out every single time. If you're using thread locker, you're supposed to clean it all out and then put on new thread locker when you go to put it back together. Well, that's an awful lot of work, isn't it? This thing saves you that work. You just use it and then you can take your knife apart, clean it out all you want, put it back together and you're off running. It's going to save you an awful lot of time if you get a product, if you get this product. I don't know of any of the major competitors or minor competitors for that, for that matter, that have this product. Only Vibratite has this that I know of. This is going to save you an awful lot of time. It's very much like the purple, except for it's reusable. So that's what I wanted to let you know today, guys. This product. I've also got another video that talks about a uh, material that you put on your screw head. Let's say you've got some knives that you use the blue on. And uh, you're going to undo them and it's starting to slip and it's starting to strip. There's a product that you put on your screwdriver and it goes between the screwdriver and your screw and it gives you a much better grip. It's called Drive Grip. And that product is an awesome product. I use it whenever something's not coming apart relatively easily because I don't want to strip my screw first. I've saved an awful lot of screws since I found out about that product. Use this stuff and it's going to save you an awful lot of money in the end. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give away, since you can see I've got a few of these. Vibratite was nice enough to give me some samples of these things. So I've got a few samples. So I'm going to give away these samples. Uh, somebody of my Patreon supporters at the end of the month. I already gave some out last month. You're going to get a drive grip. You're going to get a purple th uh, thread locker. And you're going to get one of these. If you are a Patreon supporter and you have contributed $2 or more US at the end of Feb March. We're in March now. At the end of March, to my Patreon supporters, every month I give away a knife. It's not going to be this one, but it's one of the knives that I reviewed that month. Not the worst cheap knife, not the very best knife, but one of the mid, mid range knives that I reviewed that month. I'm going to send that to the, the Patreon supporter whose name gets drawn. And I'm also going to send them this, you know, and a knife. And the second place Patreon supporter that I draw is going to get this little, uh, pack of stuff. These three items. So if you're not yet a Patreon supporter, Consider becoming a Patreon supporter of Canadian Cutting Edge. Every little bit helps this channel. So if you're Canadian, uh, your best bet to get these products is if you know somebody in the United States, you know, have it shipped to them and they'll ship it to you. Or use one of those U.S. services that you uh, buy something, it gets shipped to the American service 
and they from there mail it across the border to you here in Canada, you're going to save an awful lot of money that way. And you're going to get some very good products. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all those good stuff. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. And quit screwing up your knives when you don't need to. Bye now.